What's happening, Jack? Is it raining? Yeah. Oh, did you see the lightning? Ready? Ooh, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Loud noises. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad. He's like never really had storm. He's really never had a proper storm. <laughs> well, he did in the Kimberley, but he's probably too young. Yeah, he's to... too young to even know. When we were back at home, we used to be on our back balcony in a house, and when it was raining and that storm thundering, we used to just sit there and watch everything, and we used to count how many there were. Because when when you see a lightning strike, you just you count, and that's how many kilometers or miles away it is. Kilometers. Kilometers away it is. Every second is a kilometer. Yeah. Yeah, one. Two. Oh, that was a huge one. Oh, there'll be. There was a big, big lightning bolt just there. I saw the light here. How good is that? It's even making the caravan shake. Honestly, we haven't seen a storm like this in a very, very, very long time. Like JD was just saying, we used to sit at home and sit out the back and just watch. You have a cup of coffee in the morning or a couple of beers in an afternoon and just watch uh, the storms roll in. But I miss it. We used to love this sort of stuff. There's probably so many people here that are so disappointed about the weather and it's like, we're just over here having a good time. <laughs> He's in his bed because it's quiet because the roof isn't as loud. Look, I'll show you. What are you doing, Jack? No, I don't be one. It was a big one, wasn't it? Yes. Are you better in here? Yes. Yeah, you're safe? Yes. Yeah, I'll turn the light on. Yes. You like your bed, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's my bed. Yeah, that's your bed. All right, you want to come out with us? We're going to cook breakfast. Yes. Come on, then. I love it. I love it. I love it. You coming? Oh, oh, my Yeah, I'll put your... This is... No, this is how he gets out of bed now. No, I put the step there. The step's there. Sometimes he likes climbing down here as well. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do this without so much background noise, but I've got mushrooms and onion. It's going in our omelette. Oh, there it is. You can see it now. And these are just the side. definitely becoming a staple. <laughs> They're such a good meal. I know. Yeah. It's, it's such a good whole filler in the morning. It's so tasty. Yeah. You do a killer job. Oh, oh. Thank you. Who's the one that keeps painting your bloody nails? <coughs> you. He asked. I'm not a fan of it. That's, That's how you got a blue little nail for a while. One blue. nail. He's got his fingers and toes done. <coughs> Jesus. All right. I'm sure there's plenty of dads out there that have sons that would probably frown upon that. Their bloody beloved son getting his toenails and fingernails bloody painted. We need to have a chat, guys. We do. Because this is a new episode, new area, something entirely different, which is so cool. So, so we are in the Air Peninsula at the moment, but we're not doing all the beaches and we're not doing the coastline as most do. Well, we will. I was going to say, as you, as you can probably see, there's yeah. almost 
Well, there isn't a beach in salt. <laughs> no, we've gone to the central ver the central part of the Air Peninsula, yeah. and it's actually got a lot of attractions here. So there is a ton of stuff, yeah, and it's in a small space. Mm. It's full on. If it's not on your list, you should be adding it. So where yeah. we're staying at the moment is a place called Woodna. I brought out this little book to show you how it's actually spelled. <laughs> Because before we got here, we were saying Wadena. Wadena. Wadena, but it's Woodna. So um, everything, every, so far what I've learned, everything that, that looks like how you should say it, is not how you say it. Yeah. It's, it looks like Wadena, but it's not. You want to hop up? <laughs> and where we are here right now is what, Chark? Charcoaldar Rock. Charcoaldar Rock. But it starts with a T. Oh, it doesn't even look anything like what I'll it sounds like. I'll put the name like. down the bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to show you this book real quickly. So when we arrived at Woodna, we'll have to show you the place that we're staying. It's $15 per night for power and water. You self-register and put your money in an envelope and stuff. It's pretty cool. We'll show it to you when we go back. Yeah. But these books they had there and I picked it up just to have a look. And it is the best little information guide. It's got tons of information. I have seen. Yeah. There's no advertising in that in it. It's literally just full of information, fun facts and everything in the area. So if you come through here, get this book. It's amazing. Whoever wrote this, I love you. Kudos to you. Yeah, it's so good. So yeah, we're gonna check out Charcoal Dar Rock. It doesn't have a lot of history that I can find about it. It's just a really cool granite outcrop and it's got really cool boulders on the top of it with all like the cutouts in it and that's so Yeah, it's like an interesting landscape. Yeah. Have a look. Should be kinda cool. Get some cool photos. Yeah, I'm keen to go for a bit of a walk. It looks like you can walk right up to the top there. Um, get some drone footage and show you guys exactly what we're looking at. <laughs> What's the matter? Mum up. Mum up. Yes. You want to be carried? Yes. We can't keep carrying you, mate. You need to use your legs, huh? We can't carry you everywhere. Look at you. You walk you walk all the way back to mum to tell her to pick you up. It's a real battle at the moment. Every time we go somewhere we'll go walking or hiking or whatever it is, he cracks it. He wants to be picked up, he wants to be carried. It's like been a thing for a while and we're trying to get through breaking that habit because it's like he walks, he loves walking. There's so many times, I'm sure we've, I'm, we've recorded a few things now where you just walk along holding his hand, screaming, but he, he still walks. It's like, come on, mate, just, you're already doing it. You just realize what's happening. Just walk, babe. <laughs> oh, he's having a full tantrum today. I haven't even left the car and he's already cracked it. Unbelievable. Is anyone else there, parents, that have this same issue? Do you have a little one that's very hard to deal with or just hates walking, is super lazy, wants to be carried every five minutes? Because I'm sure we're not alone. I'm sure it's just a normal thing for them. Let me know in the comments below, I'm curious. And this is why we don't get to do too many things because it just becomes too hard and you just don't want to deal with it, so you end up not doing it. But we're going to have to start persevering and getting through it because otherwise we'll never end up doing anything. Oh wow. And this is, this is what the big attraction is with these rocks. Because they just all cut out, like it's, I don't even know how they end up even like this. Looking for Aboriginal art. There's such big rocks, but yet, hey, look, there's, there's so much there. missing. There's another one over here. How cool is that? Oh, look who made it. Yeah. They're not crying anymore. What? Are, what what's so going on? I just sat there waiting and eventually he turned around and looked at me. Yeah. <laughs> Ran up the hill. I said, are you going to hold my hand? He said, yes. I said, do you want to walk? He said, yes. I said, do you want to cuddle? Yes. So we had a cuddle and he put his hand out and then we just walked together. There you go. And it's done. Perseverance paid off. You will not win. <laughs> Yeah, walk through. Whoa. How good is that? Well, if that's not an old campsite, oh, totally. Yeah, totally. That's cool. 
some lots of shelters up here if you're uh, living on the land. Yeah, it's hey, awesome. Look at that for a view. That's just sensational. Well, you'd always know where the enemy is, where other tribes are, where like food oh, is, yeah. you know, everything. Except there would have been no rolling fields <laughs> no. back then. It would have been all trees back then, which is a, a big thing. Yeah. But just that is, that is a cool view. We're not really that high. It's still bloody amazing. Righto, we're going to trek on up. Looks like a nice little track here, we'll take. See what it's like up top. This is actually really cool. If you know sort of this random rare landscapes and rocks and stuff, like this is actually a really cool place to come. Like well, there's not much here in a sense, but it's something cool to come and check out. Because it's very, very different, I'll tell you that much. We're nearly at the top here now, which is not too far. I've just got the kids over here checking out all the different rocks. It's great for them because it's like little caves and little holes and stuff like that. Yes, we are being aware of snakes and spiders. So we're making sure they're not going into too too tight of holes. But uh, Jax is really absolutely loving and Jada's just kicking around in these holes and that. We're getting some shots here at the moment. It's just, it's incredible. Here comes a shot. Ready, smile. <laughs> smile. I love how Jack smiles now. He says smile, he's like, a big grin. Smile. <laughs> Was that a landscape? Jeez, it comes up good. <laughs> I'm doing everything in landscape today to prove a point to Chris. Yes. Because uh, I've been doing a lot of photography lately. I mean, Charm was the original photographer. But he thinks that landscape's better than portrait. I prefer portrait because you focus on one item and it blurs out the background. Whereas he's like, there's things that are out of focus. So I'm like, okay, I'll do everything in landscape then. Whatever. Nine, I like nine, it 90 when there's of, a soft blur on the background. I Don't get me wrong, I love portrait. And portrait's great for mm. a lot of different shots. But for what we do, we're outside all the time doing lots of outdoor activities but and landscapes. Their faces. <laughs> it's a portrait. I could go on for hours. I'm not going to bore you guys with this argument, but... This is what the, the dilemma is at the moment because I'm the one that edits them so I see them. So I'm like nitpicking at her. Hey, you only started that like four weeks ago. Four weeks ago? Prior to that, I used to edit oh. all your photos. Oh, oh, that's probably why it's picked up so much. Oh, whatever. You <laughs> had one like totally biting in. Where's it? Where? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a spiky bit of a plant. That's okay. Uh. Wow, look at those pretty yellow toes. Oh god. <laughs> Looks like vomit. Vomit? Yeah, no, it's not. It's very pretty. Come on, up your half. There you go, is that better? Yeah. Um, yeah. Whoa, you want to go up this bit? Okay. <laughs> you go over? For someone that doesn't like walking, he always takes an adventurous track. Whoa! Whoa, yeah. <laughs> well done. Almost 360, you need to be like just a little bit higher. Yeah, there's a couple of big rocks up there I reckon you could stand Mama. up on. It's cool. It is really cool. Mama. I reckon we're going to get up to the top of this hill here. Up here. See what the view's like and I might get the drone out and show you guys exactly here, where we are and what it looks like. Because actually it's not the biggest hill, but there's a lot here. There's some sort of structure up here that I have no idea what's for. I'm curious. I'm gonna check it out. See if there's anything on it that tells me what it is. So what? What the hell is that? Seems very odd and strange. Unless there's more around here on hills, I don't know, but doesn't look like it does much. Does anyone know what that is? You let me know in the comments below.
Tarkled R hut, originally built around 1915 as a surveyor's workman's hut when building the dam, tanks and drains for the town's water supply, and has had many uses, the last being home to much loved Aboriginal couple, affectionately known as Tom and Tilly. Yeah, a bit of a rundown with the history. Fun fact. Fun facts. It's a pretty cool hut. Yeah, I'd live is. in that. I'll tell you what, that's probably warmer in winter than oh, anything they build these days. Totally. It's really cool. Especially with the big old fire pit. I like that it's been like renovated as well. It's got a little plaque on the front door saying who renovated it. I can't remember now. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'll check it out. Hey, look at the door. The Woodner and Districts Kiwanis Club project. 99 and 2003. There you go. Kiwanis? Kiwanis? I probably haven't pronounced that right either. Seriously, the names around here. Oh, no, they're if it just... wasn't for the info book, I wouldn't have a clue. No, no, that's it. Some of that hard. The Aboriginal names. They're, they're tongue twisters and difficult sayings. Always keeps you on your toes. One more thing while I think about it. Oh, yeah. I went for a quick walk over to the edge of the rock. I took mm. a little bit of footage, I'll put it in now. That is a gutter. So back in the days, this is actually, when we were saying about the workmen and the surveyors and that, the people that lived there used to basically take rainwater from the rock and it would run along that gutter into underground tanks. Mama, and that's how they collected their water for the area. True. And it's the same at the next rock that we go to as well. Dude, that's pretty smart, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I love about these like old school places is bloody, like the thought and the ideas that they had way yeah. back in the day and it's still going today it's just that's cool i like that so i know chris also mentioned that around here you can camp so i've got to double check whether it's a donation or a set fee i'm not entirely sure i'll put it over here on the screen for you to have a look at but something that's really cool here they've actually got facilities so there's like an outback toilet and then there's picnic tables and i believe a barbecue because i can see a gas cylinder it's pretty cool like really it's really cool actually how funny is that they've actually got on the door the outback dunny oh that's classic i'm really curious what it's like like is it a decent toilet or not let's have a look it's like a proper outback dunny that's funny that's so cool this is for anyone who doesn't know about Australian history, back in the days when toilets weren't inside houses, they would have these little outhouses everywhere and that's pretty much what it would have looked like as well, probably a tin shed and stuff. I think they do them in a lot of countries. They had them over in England, I think as well. I remember my granddad having one out the back of his house, but yeah, obviously he didn't use it anymore. He got one in the house eventually, but yeah, pretty cool. Gas, a barbecue. Wow, it's actually nice and clean. That's so cool. And then on this side, you got your picnic area. Ah, and donations box. There we go, it's down here. The full picnic area, they got the barbecue set up with gas and a donations box there as well. So make sure if you do come and stay here, leave your donation, goes towards the community store in town who are keeping that. And um, yeah, without their help, I guess, this wouldn't be here in the first place to use. And it's actually really well kept. I'm, I'm super impressed. Chris is like just swerved around something that wasn't there and he's like what are these things are they caterpillars and I've looked out the window and I'm like oh my god they're caterpillars I've seen, seen three or four of them and I'm like they look like the little trains of caterpillars 
but we're going so quite fast along the road that I, I, I can't quite see it. And then I've just seen another one here. I'm like, is it? And it is. I'll show you. Hang yeah, on. We'll get out and have a look. See this big line? How cool is that? They're all following each other. I think they might be trying to cross the road. I reckon you might be right. They're all coming this way slowly. Look at them all up here. It's like a whole family. Cute. It's so cute, Mum. Well, it's not an it, it's they. Well, they are cute. There's so many. Look at that, that's just one little bunch at the front. Obviously they haven't decided where they want to go yet because they're all just congregating here or they're going to do a swap the leader. But these guys here, they're a bit confused. There's three next to each other. And we've got a really good row for ages. That was like a cool spot. I remember seeing this like as a kid and you'd walk along a pathway and you're like, oh, there's a row of caterpillars and you just step over them so that you don't hurt them and stuff. Thank you. And um, yeah, this is exactly that. Pilled up a rock. Pilled up a rock. Oh, listen to the echo. Well, the car's looking uh, nice and dirty. Holy hell. I don't think I've had that much mud on it, <laughs> like ever. Probably since the Cape. It's been a long time. Here we are. Pilled up a rock. It's almost, I can see what they mean by wave rock gives it a bit of a run for its money i don't think it's much as much as the other one it looks it's not as like cut out as what wave rock might be i can't comment because i haven't actually been there but i do get the gist of it actually looks pretty cool we're using this as our lunch stop and i think i might have to move the car because there's another ant nest jesus Right there, right at the back of the car. <laughs> oh no. Are you hungry, Jada? Yeah. She's always hungry. Sandwiches, pre made. One for Jack when he gets out. Hey, do you want some um, corn thins? Handy knife. You want a sandwich? Yeah. Here. Oh, yummy. Big sandwich. What are we having? Corn pins? Yeah. We've got um, like dip and crackers and stuff as well, but I'm really enjoying these lately. <laughs> Bit of a little staple. It's good to uh, fill the hole with. Yeah. Bit of butter, bit of Vegemite. As you can see, I haven't bothered getting out the bench. I'm just doing it up here. Yeah, why not? I always need to be a bit taller. I'm oh, my daddy. Mm. So we've just driven around the other side of the rock. And um, we found another like picnic area here as well. So I've got a donations box, a table, a gas barbecue. Actually, there's two tables here as well pretty cool and there's a little information sign so I'm gonna have a read of that see if there's anything I can figure out to pass on to you guys and then we're gonna go climb up the top of it and have a look around Daddy, up there. no 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 let go yeah it's getting hot off so Jack just came and looked at the barbecue and there's this little button on the front so what did he do he pressed it so now the barbecue's turning on I can hear the gas running and everything, so it's definitely working, but like, I, I can't turn it off. So it kind of looks like you could Whoa, get up the rock here, but it's quite steep. It's almost like a slide. You can hear Jada screaming about it because she just slid down it. Around the other side of the rock, it actually says entry to summit. So we're gonna walk around there so Jack can walk properly. We want him to be safe. And um, we'll go walk up on the top. Original geraniums planted by Kawaterski girls who lived nearby in 1938. So the reason that there's flowers growing there is because of people that planted them in 1938. I don't know which ones they are, but one of them. Come on, are you following Dad up the hill?
not the coolest thing ever? This is actually worth driving out and having a look yeah. at. Because, I don't know, to some people it might seem like a quite a boring, uneventful sort of thing, but when you get something this big and a big wave, yeah. and you can walk all over the top of it and see like what looks like spa pools and infinity pools up there, it's just incredible. Like it's actually really, really cool. I mean, to take the kids up there too, it's like, it's just another experience and memory as well. Yeah, and if Jack can do it, anyone can do it. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's not too steep, it's not difficult. It's really grippy as well, which is nice. You don't feel insecure being up there or anything. It's nice. Yeah, no, but, it's, um, it's a great experience. It's definitely worth coming checking out. If you're doing something like what we're doing, um, and doing as much as, you know, just beaches, you want to mix it up and do something inland, 100% yeah. come in and check it out. Because so far we've done two today and it's been, what, a few hours just yeah. cruising around. It's just nice to be out and about, but there is plenty to see out here this and it's is different. basically the SA equivalent of the WA Wave Rock. Mm. So if, I don't know what the situation would be by the time this goes out, but if WA is still shut and you really wanted to see Wave Rock, this is your way around it. Come to <laughs> yeah. SA. Pretty much. See Pill Dapper Rock instead. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It is good. Sweet. Right, right on. We're off to... On we go. There's one more, isn't there? The big... Oh no, are they here? The big scalloped out rocks and stuff? I'm not sure. Okay. We'll check on the map and come back to you. I'm pretty sure there's one more. I'll let you know. If not, this is it. <laughs> no, I think there is. We'll, no, I'm we'll definitely sure look. there is. I'm yep. sure of it. Anyway. Oh, so we're back at Woodna. Um, we stopped past Minipa, Minipa Rock and there's another one as well at the Agricultural <laughs> Centre. But when I was reading through that really handy information book I told you about, it actually said you have to plan to go to the Agricultural Centre. Yeah. And the Minipa Rock, you can only look at. You can't actually drive in. So it was... Yeah, there was a gate there with a chain yeah. around and stuff. So I don't know whether you can get in or not, but <laughs> it didn't look very inviting or it's like part of, get in. So It was part of the 1,100 acres, which is belonging to the Agricultural Centre. So Yeah, wow. Well probably just has to be planned but yeah I did tell you there was one more yeah there was one more <laughs> there was one more yeah so we're back in um woodna now so we've just stopped at the australian farmer which is one of australia's big things that you can go and check out it's a eight and a half meter tall granite farmer and he was made over a 17 year period from when they proposed it to when they finished it and while i'm talking i'm just going to say if you can hear crows there's a whole tree of them behind us there but, must be a thousand crows. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but pretty much they've got like full grain, wheat grain heads, which represent a good year. And then they have four walkways that go up to it as well, which represent togetherness and community and family and generations. And this is to represent the early settlers of the area that used to, you know, do all their farming and look after animals and that. And yeah. That's cool. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little sculpture. It's literally right in the main main street of town, so you you'll drive you'll drive straight past it. But yeah, mammoth big bloody sculpture. But it's just it's kind of cool to know that everybody came together to do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, seventeen years from start to finish. That's yeah, it. that's good. Sweet. Sweet. So we're gonna pretty much go back, chill out. Uh, Jack's just having a quick snooze in the back of the car right now, which is good. So that'll mean he's uh, a lot better this afternoon. Yeah. Um, probably just yeah have a real chilled out laid back afternoon and see what happens so this is the woodner showgrounds and this is like the little information bay here so we're actually parked right on the other side of this field just over there so there's actually powered sites along here there's six powered sites and then there's people here that have unpowered there's also a couple more powered sites right at the end that's chris down there so he doesn't have the noise of the car in the footage so pretty much when you rock up here, it's either $10 for unpowered for the night or it's $15 for have a powered site. And here they've got like the RV park permit. So you just put your cash money in there. And they've also got those little books that I was talking about that have been really handy. So it's just a simple honesty box format. You just pop it into here. I'm guessing someone's gonna come pick them up and yeah, see, there you go. Oh, and it's a maximum five night stay. But still, at $15 a night, you save yourself so much money. Like, and you can explore this whole area with no problems in $15. Don't point, just walk, yeah. Whoa! I just stood in like the biggest ant nest ever. <laughs> Look at them all. There's too many of them. No, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I?
Woodna, like the town. Oh. You. Any normal fit person, it sounds bad. No, no. Any fit person will definitely be able to get up here, no issue. He's just repeated it. No, any, I didn't say any normal fit person. <laughs> Go for a walk. <laughs>